The Finance Committee of Parliament called National Social Security Fund to appear and make a presentation of its performance, focusing on the active members they are having, asset base and investment portfolio, especially the 23% shareholding in Umeme investments in terms of treasury bills and safety of members' savings. Also matters on reduction domestic borrowing and other matters. I feel these are matters which will attract a lot of people. Because they directly impact on the savers' earnings, it is extra. I feel Mr. Chairman will be allowed to make uh, an official statement in writing about this. The presentation from NSSF indicate that out of the 1.7 million Ugandans working in the formal sector, only 1.3 million are saving with NSSF, with 16 million Ugandans having no retirement plan. NSSF emphasized that 78% of members' funds are in bonds, which are credit worthiness of the country, hence their savings are safe. Now many Ugandans get very, very scared. Oh, the, the government is going to borrow our money. There is a law that governs how the government borrows money. The government cannot just come to NSSF and say, here's a piece of paper, we need the money. They have to go through Bank of Uganda. Bank of Uganda issues a bond. Actually going over to borrow money to invest in our own projects. This is our saving, the national savings. If we grow it to a percentage of GDP from 12 to, to say 30 or 25, then we can use that fund to help us in the national strategic development. There is, however, a challenge of underfunded schemes. This month ending December, the total asset is 17.8 or 17.9 trillion. The claim against that is 17.7 trillion, a gap of 200, about 200 billion. However, this presentation was opposed by one member of the committee, Mwanga Chivumbi, who wanted the committee to discuss a letter he claims was contradicting the information given and was signed by Minister for Gender, Betia Mongi. His plea was in vain and he stormed out of the committee in protest. And this in my political life, I've been here, but I beg to leave this meeting in protest. Uh, in the NSS of incompetence, failure to invest wisely, and they are losing billions of money, the leaders in there are corrupt. So the minister cannot issue a document and be in a meeting, and when wrong facts are being put, is there nodding like, you know? Every and then it's authenticated from the owner, and then uh, it is discussed, and so, I did not see the letter, I have not read the letter. It is 20 pages and the Honorable Mwanga Chivumbi introduces it in the meeting and he wants us, he wants the meeting to discuss the letter there and then. I think you can see that that's actually, that, that was unfair. I'm Navka Farida and Gloria Gwitabinji at Parliament.